Hello, and welcome back to Minecraft on Xbox. Welcome to my world, yes, uh, I'm continuing the series. I said that I wasn't going to because it just became a horrible task to do, trying to build things. Um, but now they've released creative mode, and oh my god have I gone to work on this. Uh, Dr. Apollo 16, little mini shout out for that guy, uh, he was helping me out last night. Um, oh wow, I need to repair this dirt. Uh, he was just like, messing around, like, placing cake everywhere, and it's, I know, it just kept me entertained while I was building some things. Um, okay, so anyway, I need your help, and I need to also show you what I've done. So, uh, where should we start? Let's start over here. If you didn't already know, 1.8.2 is out, creative mode is out, sprinting out, hunger's out, and all this other stuff. So we come into the house, and uh, nothing's really changed except for the back door that leads out here, uh, you're at the crafting table, uh, and it leads out to this little waiting room type thing, it's like a little back back door area. Uh, that goes upstairs to a little hut, and then if we go over here, this is something that we've changed massively. Like, if we, if you remember from the last episode, we built a windmill, and it wasn't looking exactly the best, and the little walk-up area wasn't exactly the best, but now we've kind of got MTV Cribs on the on it. Uh, we've got, like, a massive, like, little uh, wheat field, which gives it a cool effect. Uh, we've got, like, a cool walkway. And then we come to the actual windmill itself, and I've actually finally added the uh, the wall to it, and now it looks pretty pretty awesome. Uh, we've added some vines to the side of it so that you can you can kind of like climb up the you, well, you can normally climb up vines for some reason you can't climb up these vines. I thought they were like jungle vines, but either way, it's a cool little fact. It looks like it's been aged. Uh, this is Apollo's windmill because he helped me with the wheat, and that was the 18th of October, so that was yesterday. Uh, they haven't done the inside of it more, you need to do the interior, but that's just something I've come to do later. Uh, okay, so let's fly over here. If we go to the church, we've added a cross on the front of it. Uh, it looks kind of cool, I suppose. And if we come inside, I've actually repaired the whole thing, added another, another cross over there. And um, yeah, so the church is finally like repaired and stuff, because if you remember, someone blew it up and like half of the wall kind of just came off and stuff. Uh, over here we've got a couple of mushroom trees that make the area look a bit more colourful. Uh, this is still the exact same, but I kind of want to expand it this way. Like if you come into this bit here, uh, oh, just just kind of like fell, as you do. Uh, if you come up here, it just doesn't really lead anywhere, it's like a diving board, but I kind of want to expand it here, I don't know, we could have like a series of houses just floating in the air or something, that'd be kind of cool. Okay, let's go back over here, over here. So we had a nether portal over here, but it was broke, but I fixed it now, and I also added a cool little room, it's on fire and everything, it's, I don't know, it's, it's a cool little effect with nether rack, uh, and yeah, keeps the area hot, you can see what I did there. Uh, also, Dr. Apollo coming around, placing cake everywhere, it kind of gives it a funny effect because, oh my god, it's a blue sheep! Hello. Oh, I thought you meant the cookie. I was going to be really, like, impressed. Uh, so, yeah, Dr. Apollo made this look funny because it's kind of ironic that the nether portal goes to the nether, which is technically hell, and it's covered by cake, and it's just like, Cover me, bro! Go to the nether! I'm taking some cake and cookies! Let's do this! It's kind of a funny little effect. Um, so, yeah, that's the nether house. Owned by Mr. Blue Sheep. I'm going to call you Bluey the Blue Sheep. Bye, Bluey the Blue Sheep. I'm going to continue the video. Bye, man! Okay, so here is Apollo's cake house, um, I don't know, I just, I told him he could build a few things, so, uh, yeah, if you ever come on my world, then free cake, you know, because, you know, everyone likes free cake. Uh, I opened up this bit, uh, there was like a little gate here, but it was just an awkward thing getting over, so I fixed that up a bit, uh, and I've kind of bought this off so you can go for like a little swim, go for a little swim, uh, also, Danny's house. I'm gonna have to get him to come around to my house and um, tell him to improve his house. Now we've got creative mode. Okay, so if we go this way, this is my favorite bit of the map because it just looks so aesthetically pleasing. So if we come down here, we've got like the multi-stair platform thing, but we've covered it off in glass. And uh, this is my most favorite feature. Uh, I kind of done like a little pyramid, like house. Thing. So you come into here, there's just like a little pyramid, but it looks really not nice at night because of the glowstone. Don't know exactly what I could turn this room into, but for now it just looks cool. Okay, so if we go over this way, 
I have bored this bit off with glass and sandstone. It kind of makes the area look cool, it needs lighting up a bit. It makes the area look quite cool. Um, I'm not sure whether I should just leave it like this or put like a shelter going over the top of this and keep it like an interior type thing, but I'm not sure quite just yet. Uh, the house up there is still the same, I might do a few changes on it. And uh, this is this is the newest bit, we've got a bridge and it's kind of, it's got mushroom trees makes it kind of look really nice and colorful but I don't know what to do here like the bridge just stops here and I don't know what to do um, if, we, if, if we fly up just right now uh, we've got quite a lot of flat land and a bit of open land so we can expand this whole world this way and um, just build a lot of things so yeah and that this is where you guys come into it where what could we build or, like oh my god that's a lot of mushrooms um, we could build a load of things I mean look at this look how big this just flat piece of thing is we can kind of just build so much stuff over here so if you guys have got any idea of what to do where this bridge is then uh, do leave it in the comment section and I will check it out uh, this basically the bridge stops here we could have like a bridge going over here so you have to kind of climb over the bridge to get to the other side and have like a little a water tunnel and have a boat going through it that's my sort of idea and have like a little port thing there so if we um, you could kind of basically walk down here go through here or you can go over the bridge and then this way here could be like a port or something I'm not sure and um, we could have like if we put sands over here we could um, have like a little room so it'd be like for example come out of my house my house that come on um, wait one more over here and then have this bit kind of like boarded off. Ugh. Ugh, can't place this piece of sand. <laughs> oh wait, I forgot. Sand, sand will just not do that, will it? Uh, we'll do this. And then this bit. And then on this bit here, we could have. We could have. We could have. We could have chests. And on these chests, we could have like boats, and then we could create like a boat system that goes all around there. We could have like tunnels and like uh, mushroom trees on the sides of them and stuff to make it look really nice. But um, that's my that's my idea. But I'm not too sure. Uh, if you guys got any good ideas, then do leave them in the comments because I will check them all out. I read all the comments on every video, so anything that you post, I will see. Don't start posting offensive stuff because I'll see it. Um, but yeah, that's basically I've got to need a few ideas from you guys because this is a this is a subscriber and commentator uh, like uh, series idea. I don't want to just build stuff that I want to do. I want to build stuff that you want to do, and I'll credit it after you. So if I build something, say I built this windmill, and then name it after the person who made uh, wanted me to build it and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, if you guys have got any ideas, then please do tell me. Uh, the the one idea that I need you guys to come up with is this here. We've got a massive blank space here, and I don't know what to do with it. Um, so if you guys have got any ideas, like regarding what I could actually build, then uh, do please leave it in the comment section, and I will definitely credit it after you. And if you want, you can come onto the world and actually build the idea. I've also got another series idea that I want you guys to give me some feedback on. Um, I'm thinking of actually creating a massive flat world. I've got a seed, not seed. I've actually got a map that I downloaded. It's a completely flat world. I could section it off into like multiple sections, and I could get subscribers to come onto it and build their ideas. So they could just be like, "Oh, I want to build like." A, a tower or a mansion then they can come onto the world they build it and I can showcase it what do you guys think of that idea if you like it leave it in the comment section if you hate it then just tell me I hate it and I'll be like okay so finalize for this final ideas for this, for this episode we need ideas for this bit and the little port bit and for this bit over here and then I will build it in the next episode and I also actually uh, want you guys to give me some feedback on would you would you like me to just take your ideas build them and then show you them or would you like some of the episodes showing me building the ideas like I could just be like do speed builds or I could just actually build them and let you guys watch um, I'm not sure if you would like to see that or you just like to see the, the actual series completed 
But um, yeah, leave me some feedback on that and I'll definitely review that. But either way, guys, I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, then don't forget to leave a like and a favorite. That helps me out massively. You have no idea how much that actually helps me out because it shares it to your subscriber feeds and then I get new people come to see the series. If you like the series, then share it with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Plus. I just shot Google+, Plus because I don't like Google+. Plus. And if you're new to the channel, please do subscribe. And guys, leave your ideas in the comment section. Give me some feedback. And I will see you in the next video. I'm out, guys. Have a nice day. Peace.